Today we're going to be talking about creating a text message on your Sneedjet Freedom Series printer. From the main menu, you can simply access the Edit File button. That will bring up your message editor. From here, we have all of the available objects, text, time, counter, image, QR code, barcode, and DM or data matrix code. If you wish to open a file, you can use the open function and that will allow you to edit an existing file. After you're, you've completed, we'll use the save or save as feature. Uh, the save is a direct save and it will overwrite whatever's there. If you have a base file that you're using and you don't want to corrupt that, you can always click the save as and that will save a copy and you can give it a different name. For these purposes, we're going to add some simple text such as Sneed Jet Freedom. So we're going to click on text. We're going to click on edit. That's going to bring up our editing box here. Make sure to click on empty to clear that out. Once we've got it completed, click on Finish, and that's going to put it there on the screen. Here we have our text. We have our current font selection. If you wish to change the font, you can choose any one of the available fonts, or we have the ability to import any specialty fonts that may be required. We can adjust our size just by holding it down, or if you touch it, it will bring up a dial pad to identify what size that you need. We have the ability to use a bold or an underlying feature. And then we have our interval. The interval is the spacing between the characters. And we can even go negative with that to squeeze them together a little bit more. And then our rotation allows us to take the whole object and pivot it around the axis point there in the corner. Once, we've, once we're finished inputting everything, we'll click on Save. That's going to bring up our menu. Make sure that you are saving it to the local drive unless you wish to save it to a USB drive. From there, give it a name. We're just going to call this one Test. One too many T's. You can always backspace to correct it. And then click OK. That has saved it. Now, if we wish to print that, we'll just click on Load Current File, and that brings it up there ready for printing. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Sneed Coding Solutions, 833-926-3464.